It's today's key business tech report. 280 character limit for single tweets. It tested this in September among a select group of users. Now, Twitter says the move is designed to remove the frustration of shoehorning thoughts into 140 characters, a limitation that regularly makes for awkward grammar and creative spelling. Well, Snap lost nearly $40 million in unsold spectacles, and many that did buy those Snapchat glasses returned them. That plus earnings that were weak overall since shares of Snap, the parent of Snapchat, down 20%. Well, the NBA, along with Time Warner and uh, Turner Sports, announced a multi-year partnership with Intel in which the two will broadcast live NBA games in virtual reality. The partnership begins with the broadcast of the 2018 NBA All-Star Game and events. The deal with the NBA will use the technology as well as the company's VR technology to put NBA on TNT viewers courtside or to give them a bird's eye view of the game. Well, the end of House of Cards on Netflix will cost thousands of jobs. House of Cards, which for five seasons has been filmed in and around Baltimore, is one of the state's biggest productions. It employs 2,000 people. Also, local small businesses like caterers and dry cleaners will lose business as well. And a new app wants to be the Shazam for fashion. You know Shazam, uh, you just take your phone, hold it up to a speaker, it'll tell you the song and the title. Well, this new app is called Screen Shop. It launched this week. It lets users purchase clothing and accessories they see on social media, online, and on the street by taking a photo or screenshot on their phone. From the NASDAQ Market Site in Times Square, I'm Jane King with your Tech Report. Jane